we now come to the carry trade the carry trade also called the FX carry trade involves borrowing in a low yield currency and investing in a high yield currency for example let's say we can borrow Canadian dollars at 1% so this is the low yield or low interest rate currency we can borrow at 1% and let's say we can invest in Brazilian real at 9% this is the high yield or high interest currency and then as long as the Brazilian real does not depreciate too much we make money based on this interest rate differential the differential between 9% and 1% specifically the transactions are as follows we borrow the low yield currency which in this case is Canadian dollars we sell the Canadian dollars and buy the Brazilian currency at the spot rate at time zero we then invest in the high yield currency which is the Brazilian real and our rate is 9% one year later we liquidate the investment so we sell the real and buy dollars at the spot rate one year later or t equal to 1 and then we pay back the dollar loan and as long as the spot rates have not changed we will make a profit based on this differential the FX carry trade strategy is based on empirical evidence which suggests that high yield currencies on average have not depreciated and low yield currencies have not appreciated to levels predicted by interest rate differentials in other words this strategy is based on the observation that uncovered interest rate parity does not always hold a few comments on the carry trade carry trade strategies clearly involve leverage because we are borrowing in the low yield currency and since there is leverage this increases the volatility of returns specifically the return on equity is going to be more volatile because of the use of leverage carry trade strategies have generated positive returns over extended periods this is because uncovered interest rate parity does not always hold one of the reasons for this positive return is that yields in high interest rate currencies reflect a risk premium due to a more unstable economy while low yield currencies represent less risky markets so in our example the Brazilian real has a higher return because of the higher risk associated with the Brazilian economy during periods of low volatility carry trades tend to generate positive returns but they are prone to significant crash risk in turbulent times so in turbulent times if the Brazilian real were to crash significantly then obviously the carry trade will have negative returns carry trades are more peaked and also have fatter tails relative to a normal distribution carry trades also have negative skewness so you need to remember these three points the carry trade returns tend to be more peaked they have fatter tails and they have negative skewness more peaked implies that we have frequent small returns and the number of small returns is more than what we would expect with a normal distribution fatter tails and negative skewness implies that we don't have negative returns very often but when we do have negative returns then they are fairly significant